Kevin Pierce is one of the free-spirited American talents in the halfpipe coming into the Winter Olympics in Vancouver in 2010. And Kevin Pierce is just coming off the win at the Arctic Challenge, coming in for his first run. Kevin Pierce is coming off the win at everything. He won the European <laughs> Open. He won Aaron Style. He won Arctic Challenge. And you know what? Contender to win here today. What's up? I'm hey. Scotty Lego. Hey, what's up? I'm Kevin Pierce. I'm from Norwich, Vermont, and I'm here, and I'm actually, uh, Gonna try to win it today. He's gonna rip it up. 2008, US yeah. Open. Yep, that's right. Then, in one fateful run down the halfpipe, all that changed. HBO's new documentary, The Crash Reels, tells the story of Kevin Pierce's fall and his rise again. We caught up with Kevin at the premiere screening of his film at the HBO studios. We're here with Kevin Pierce and his beautiful mom, Pia, and we're at HBO headquarters, and we've just seen the premiere of the movie, The Crash Reel, which was, I don't think there was a dry eye in the house, Kevin. It was a very, very moving movie. Uh, not your average snowboard movie by any means, but still plenty of snowboard thrills. And um, I think you, the movie has been making the rounds at film festivals, and you've been on the road with this movie. Uh, tell us how you feel about the movie. Um, yeah, you know, I'm excited to share this movie with the world, and I think it's cool because there's a lot of different pieces. You know, there's my snowboarding. I was doing really well in snowboarding, and then along with that, there's so much more. There's my amazing family. I mean, my mom's here visiting me in New York right now, and then there's my friends. There's my brothers. You know, there's the whole snowboard community that was behind me. There's all the doctors. There's just so many different pieces to this story. It certainly is a deep story. Did you feel the love? Because there's been so much love in the snowboard world, and now it'll be throughout the world in general going out to you. Did you feel it? Yeah, you know, there was incredible amount of love from the whole snowboard community, and then, you know, our whole community back in Vermont was there behind me, and it was just kind of so awesome to have so many people supporting me. Okay. Uh, do you have a message that you want this movie to deliver to the public, the snowboarding public and the sports public and the public at large? Um, you know, I think the main message is that you really can come back and recover from whatever you're faced with, you know, no matter how traumatic or how serious of an injury you have, that if you have the faith and you have the will and you put the effort in that you can come back and have a full recovery. Uh, it's amazing. I watched some of your YouTube videos of your comeback and it's so clear to me that it was your, it's your power and energy um, that moved you forth, forth as an athlete that also helped you to recover, your discipline and your will to be strong and to uh, succeed. We, we, we felt that a lot. Yeah, you know, they're, they're alike in a lot of ways and they're different in a lot of ways. And, you know, they're alike in the sense that you have to work really, really hard all the time. And, you know, it's like I've had to put 100% 100 of myself into my snowboarding and it relates right over to recovering from a brain injury. It's like 100%, 100% of the time, all in. And we, we were spellbound to watch you making the decision whether to go back to pro snowboarding because some part of your brain wanted that, wanted that more than anything. And then your family, who loves you and didn't want to see you get injured again, uh, they were so adamant that you not go back. And it, it, did your brain change, or how did you finally come to the decision that you know that that's not the best thing for you? What, what helped you make that decision? Um, there were a lot of things that helped and you know one of the main things was the healing of my brain and you know my brain isn't fully healed now but it's healed so much more now than it was and you know along with that taking the advice that I've gotten from you know especially my family and these folks that you know know a lot more than I did at that time and you know I've just tried to be as wise as I can and make the right choices. We, we applaud you for being wise, and, you know, we love you, and we want you to be well. So that's, we're glad you made the right choice. Um, how did you feel when you, when you went to High Cascade and you did that high ollie contest and you couldn't get over the bar? I mean, was that your first realization that you, you weren't going to be, you know, back in the half pipe again as a pro? No, you know, that wasn't at all. That was, um, you know, that was a moment where, you know, I just you kind of felt like I wasn't up to where I needed to be and obviously I'm still not and you know I I'm not planning on trying to get back to there and I have made that very clear in this movie that that's not my goal now in life and there's a lot more other important things to me than trying to get back in that half pipe because snowboarding is all about having fun right exactly and <laughs> that's what we're doing now having and, fun right and doing it with your friends f-r-e-n-d-s <laughs> <laughs> it's all about being with your friends thank you and Pia would you like to add something to that 
Well, I guess I'd just like to say that I feel like Kevin is a real inspiration, and he is in this world to provide hope to people who are facing all kinds of challenges, and um, something everybody has to, you know, comes everybody, it comes their way at some point, and um, I think Kevin was born with amazing perseverance and determination, and he's brought that to his recovery, and I'm really excited for his future, because I think whatever he ends up doing, it's going to be totally amazing. What a wonderful family you have. And uh, Kevin, have you considered maybe you could be a movie star for your next career? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. i got to get some sleep first. So. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. We have some more Red X Sports videos featuring Kevin Pierce. Just click over there. The link will take you right there. Lauren Teton covers snowboarding at Snowboard Secrets TV. The link will take you to our YouTube channel. We will keep a link to the HBO website open as long as they keep it active. And, of course, we always love you to subscribe. The link's right there. We created a playlist with Lauren's interview of Lucy Walker and some clips we like from the movie. Then there's also the YouTube channel that HBO created for the Crash Reel. If we love your comments to our videos, we appreciate the attention.